hello loves welcome and welcome back to my channel today we're doing a crochet faux lock tutorial with a bob yes a bob honey so you want to start on freshly wash and stretched hair and then here's my braid pattern i left the front out because i will be doing individual faux locks and then the back is crochet because my hair is too long so yeah that's my straight back I thought the braids were small until I'm looking at them now and they're like, <laughs> yeah. So you want to secure your ends so that, you know, they're not sticking out. So here's the hair I use. The Bomba Faux Locks by Bobby Boss is a three pack, the eight, the 10, and the 12 inch. And it's life. Like I use two packs and there's three, um, obviously three inches inside. So I put the eight inch at the back. The 10 inch in the middle and then the 12 up top so you can have that layered effect that bobs normally have now the method that I use is very simple for the you know the majority of my hair where you just stick your uh, crochet hook in grab the hair by the loop put the end of that strand into the loop and tighten it so now the front um, I did triangle parts as you can see make sure you you know put your edge control on there so that your edges could be looking nice and sleek honey because we don't want the rough look yet then when you get that on there you're gonna eventually start braiding I don't know when I'm gonna start braiding I guess now <laughs> so you're gonna braid it all the way well not all the way like maybe one quarter to half the way down and then you start twisting or you just leave it loose so I just braided my hair almost halfway down and left it loose now you want to stick your crochet hook in the direction where you want your faux lock to fall if that makes sense and then you hook it on there and pull it through like you would do any regular crochet hairstyle so once you you know get the loop um, you put your hair through the actual loop I like to do it this way because I feel like it doesn't leave like a huge knot that you can where you can tell that someone has individual crochet it actually looks natural to me like after it gets older now you unravel the uh, faux lock and then you wrap your hair around the faux lock Make sure you do it a couple of times at the base so that the braid won't show through. You can see my braid in um, these faux locks, like the one above it, but I had to go back and redo it off camera so that, you know, I can secure the base and make sure that my braid will not pop out. So you just unravel and then wrap your hair around it. I almost wasn't able to pull this off because my the front of my well my hair is longer than 12 inches or just about 12 inches. So yeah, by the grace of God, I was able to. That's why I crocheted the back end instead of doing it all individual, and also because I'm lazy. So you just want to wrap it all the way down till you get to the end of your hair. Whenever that happens, we'll know. Hey, I got bars. Okay, this is this is a tutorial, Ashley. So, I was nervous because, see, my hair is actually longer than the hair. So, I was very nervous the whole time, but it was going to have to work because I spent my money and, yeah. So, yep, that one is done. So here's the semi-finished product. I had to go back after to fill in some of the back of my hair because there are like spaces, as you will see now. So I did have to go back and fill in those spaces. But I hope this tutorial helped you. I hope you like this individual method. I like how the knots aren't like, oh my gosh, she tried to do the individual crochet, but she got knots. So... 
I really like how they came out. Like, I am in love with this hairstyle. I'm going to do it over and over and over and over again. It lasted me two months. Yes, two months. It took me two months to get this video out. But, you know, bear with me. I was in love with it, and it was just low maintenance. I just went to sleep with my um, bonnet that was made for braids and woke up, took it off, and shook my dreads and went about my day. Like, that was it. Being a lazy natural, that was everything for me. Um, I don't think I mentioned this, but I got the hair from Hair So Fly. So you guys, you know. I'm going to show you another method. You do the same, you know, loop the loop and pull. But instead of, you know, wrapping your hair and unraveling the actual faux lock, you can go from the bottom of the faux lock and work your way up and up and up and up. I had trouble doing this. But, I mean, some people may prefer this. And, hey, my job here is to help. So, you just put it up and up. And you keep going. And you keep going. And you just keep swimming. Just And you get to the top. And then you hook it on to the... Hook your hair onto the actual crochet hook. Yes, I was struggling because the faux lock was taking up most of the space. So, the latch wasn't, you know coming through so now you just pull it through and it's that simple um I didn't like the method because it didn't you know secure it at the base for me my braids were still showing at the base so yeah now here is another method where you know with the individual concept you do the same way you know loop-de-loop -loop, pull but this time, when the, when you pull the hair through the loop, you pull both the faux lock and your hair versus just your hair in the first method I showed you. And then you kind of want to pull more so on the faux lock. And then you just go to wrapping just like how you did all the other ones. That's just a different method. You can try them out to see how they look and how the knots look on your head. I like the first one better. But here's how it looks. With the second method so you can decide how you like it how you don't like it I just wanted to give y'all as much information as possible now if any of you cared um, here's how my hair looks after two and a half weeks of it being installed still looks good and as you can see the older the hair gets the more natural it looks and I'm just loving it like this will be my go-to protective style like forever especially like yeah forever it's good for any season i wore it to florida and i didn't sweat as much as i would normally sweat if i had my fro or any other you know hairstyle so yeah i mean y'all can keep looking at me if y'all want to y'all can stay to the end of the video or i don't know just subscribe to my channel thank you guys so 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 much for watching let's get this video to 50 likes let's get it to 50 likes and let's gain some subscribers because i know you love me like you love me and there will be a hair review on this coming soon it's already filmed i just gotta put it out thanks for watching and until next time love bugs don't forget to subscribe Stay here.